On the campus of Nassau Community College, the newest students are ninth graders. All 370 freshmen from Westbury High School have moved into a vacant Nassau Community College building because the high school was bursting at the seams. We had approximately coming in September now about 1,700 students at the high school at a capacity of about 1,190. The superintendent says overcrowding reached the breaking point with 450 unaccompanied immigrants in two years. Every space, even the lunchroom, converted to class space. We really peaked and it was becoming a, an unsafe environment for our children. The college is three and a half miles from the high school, a 10 minute drive. State emergency approval to lease space outside its borders came just days ago. It's been all hands on deck to make college feel like high school. School bells were wired, rooms subdivided, a cafeteria installed, and some college perks take the sting out of back to school. It's really nice in here. It has a lot of air conditioning. There's more space, and you know, you don't have to run into anybody. It's safer. Kids will still get buses to and from home and shuttles back to the high school for sports and after school clubs. For Jim, they'll head over to Nassau's Mitchell Field. We took lemons and we made lemonade. An added benefit says the assistant principal, this is a ninth grade academy environment. This is one place where there are more eyes on less students. Students won't fall through the cracks. The cost of moving the ninth graders out of this overcrowded high school, $1 million to taxpayers, and it's only a one-year fix. The district must find a permanent solution. We want our children home. We want our children back in Westbury. But keeping the ninth grade separate may become the new normal. In Garden City, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. News. The Westbury School District student population has actually grown 30% over the last 10 years.